we have already discussed uh, the introduction related to conversion from uh, isometric to orthographic so we will try to solve some problems okay so what i request you is uh, you have to uh, clearly or uh, thoroughly see that particular video related to introduction so then only you can solve some problems okay so here uh, i am going to solve uh, problem number 3 so already uh, a pdf is shared to you so which consists of uh, 12 problems so in that uh, so this problem what i am solving here now is so problem number 3 okay so here you can see that uh, uh, since this is an isometric view so the question is convert uh, or uh, draw the front view top view and uh, side view of uh, the given isometric view so what you are supposed to do is so you have to draw the front view uh, top view and side view so depending upon the position of the isometric view here so you should understand uh, which side view you are able to see so you will be able to see either uh, lsv or rsv left side view or right side view depending upon the position of this isometric view so you can see only left side view okay so you can see only left side view so you can see the dimensions here if i if i assume that this particular one has length okay so length is 75 mm breadth is 50 mm and the total height is 25 and here 12 so total height is 37 mm okay so we will try to draw the solution for this one that means uh, front view top view and uh, side view we have to draw left side view okay the important point what i told in the introduction part is in any of the views front either front view side view or top view one dimension becomes zero that means you cannot see that particular dimension so i'll just uh, briefly go through that one so if you yeah one uh, one more important point uh, what i should convey here is in whichever the direction the arrow mark is there so that particular direction is nothing but your front view okay i already mentioned this this one also in uh, introduction part so in whichever the view the arrow mark is there that you have to consider it consider it as the front view okay so if this is the front view then this becomes your uh, left side view and the top view will be common for all the problems okay so if you assume the front view uh, in front view you can see length okay you can see the lines which are related to length and you can see height okay what will happen to breadth in the front view the breadth becomes zero that means you cannot see the lines which are related to breadth okay coming to top view uh, when you are trying to draw the top view what will happen is there also you will be able to see two lengths okay what are those two lengths you will be able to see the length and you will be able to see the breadth what you will not uh, uh, be able to see is so you will not be able to see the height in the top view okay similarly if you take side view so what are the two dimensions that you will be able to see is you will be able to see the breadth and you will be able to see the height so in side view you will not be able to see the lines which are related to length okay like that in each view one dimension becomes zero now i am going to draw the solution for this one okay first let me start with the front view so just now i mentioned that whichever the uh, direction uh, this arrow mark is pointing so from that direction i have to assume that one as the front view so i am going to start uh, from this bottom end so from here so let me draw draw it here okay so the very first thing that i will be able to see here is this length of 25 and this height of 12 mm so how i know that this height is 12 so here you can see that the height of uh, this particular block is 12 so here also it will be 12 so 12 by 25 one rectangular block i will be able to see so that that one i am going to draw now okay <coughs> so height 12 mm and uh, breadth 25 mm okay and adjacent to this we have line which is uh, related to breadth okay just now i mentioned that you will be able to see length and height in the front view so that's why this distance uh, what will happen to this distance is it becomes zero okay as well as uh, this distance becomes zero and uh, this distance also becomes zero in the front view so another uh, 25 mm by 12 mm block we have okay so that one also so it, it should uh, it should appear like this adjacent to this one okay so there is uh, though there is some inside distance you will not be able to see that inside distance why because so this particular line 
this particular line what I am talking here that particular line is related to breadth so that's why the breadth distance whatever the lines that are related to breadth okay that lines uh, distance we cannot see now why we cannot see is they are perpendicular to us when they are perpendicular to us what will happen is uh, if you take a long uh, uh, scale or something or pencil some kind of thing if you put it uh, uh, perpendicular to you that pencil will appear like a point okay the same concept is used here so that's why the adjacent to this uh, 25 mm by 12 mm block I will be able to see another 25 by 12 and what is the last thing that is left over here the distance is not mentioned here but the total distance is mentioned and here 25 plus 25 so it is 50 mm so the remaining distance should also be 25 mm okay so that one I am drawing here okay and apart from this I will be able to see this particular block also okay apart from this I will be able to see this particular uh, four side uh, block okay in the front view okay um, again this particular distance so it becomes zero so from from this particular point this particular point and this particular point merges in the front view so then what will happen so again we have 25 mm height okay so that 25 mm height from here I am trying to draw over here okay 25 and after that this particular distance is 20 over here that you can see so that 20 I have drawn okay and after that an inclined line is there okay an inclined line is there until what distance it is there from this end uh, till 20 mm so from this end till 20 mm it is there so that's what, what I am going to do is I am just marking 20 mm from uh, this particular end okay so from here I am trying to join a line until here okay so this is what it will appear in the front view so for this uh, simplest diagram for this simplest figure so the left side uh, thing what I have drawn uh, so that is nothing but the front view okay now before going to draw the top view so what I have to do is I have to take the projection lines okay so the projection lines they are mandatory so from one view to another view okay so now what I will do is uh, I'll take a projection lines so from each and every point over here so like this uh, you have to draw so projection lines okay so once you complete the projection lines then you can start uh, drawing the top view okay so from each and every detail uh, in the front view definitely you have to take so all these uh, projection lines okay so without wasting time so what I will try to do is I will try to send the uh, uh, projection lines for drawing the side view also now itself okay some just three lines for this particular figure yeah so these projection lines are for drawing the side view you should uh, get a doubt why the side view is drawn on the right side okay in introduction part itself I already told you that so if you are seeing something from the left okay when we are following first angle projection we are following the first angle projection we don't use uh, third angle projection okay so when we are following first angle projection whatever is seen from the left side it should be placed on the right hand side of the front view so the thing what I have drawn until now is nothing but uh, the front view okay so to the right side of the front view whatever I have seen from the left left to nunchi nen choose napadu emem aithe kanipichi untundo adu ekkada undala ante front view ki right side lo undala okay adhe oka vela so in case uh, if this isometric view has right side view okay then it should be on the left hand side of the front view okay so you try to understand that one it is very simple okay so now what I am going to do is I am going to draw the top view okay so from where I will start is I will start from this particular point okay so what is this distance over here this distance is 20 by taking any comfortable distance between front view and top view somewhere you can start like this so this is your 20 mm and after that you have an inclined line okay so that inclined line is visible in the top view but uh, the length of that particular line will be reduced okay so this uh, inclined line so where it is in the front view it is over here okay so it is here so until that particular line what I have to do is so I have to draw a line like this okay so what uh, one thing what you have to understand is whenever you are drawing top view you will just get some box kind of thing for any isometric view 
okay for any is isometric view so you will get uh, some box kind of shape and some inner details so now i stopped until here okay so from this point to this end what is the distance it is 20 mm so i am drawing another 20 mm from over here okay so now i came until here okay what is this particular distance now this particular distance here you can see that it is 25 mm okay so i am drawing a uh, 25 mm from here like this okay and again i have another 20 mm here you can see that uh, 25 by 21 box is there okay so you can see from the top view this entire box and you can see that inclined rectangular block also okay so now what i am trying to do is i am trying to draw this uh, 25 mm uh, length and uh, 20 mm and another 25 mm so to complete this block so the block which i completed now is nothing but this particular 25 by 20 block okay and adjacent to this one we have what so we have an inclined uh, inclined rectangular block okay that inclined rectangular block uh, until what distance it is there so it is until a distance of 20 mm from this left end okay so what i am going to do is from this one this in, this inclined line so this inclined line in top view what will happen is this inclined line will get uh, reduced okay so until here it will come okay and after that so this one and this one we can join like this so the line which i have drawn now is nothing but this particular line okay so this particular rectangular block line so this thing is nothing but your rectangular block and uh, this one is another rectangular block with the 25 by 20 mm and uh, once again coming back to this end uh, okay so where i started okay so what is this uh, what is this distance this distance is nothing but 50 mm okay so in top view what are the two distance the two distances or two lens that i will be able to see is i will be able to see the breadth and i will be able to see the length okay what i will not be able to see is i will not be able to see the height okay so this breadth uh, what how much is the distance this breadth is nothing but 50 mm okay so that 50 mm i am going to draw now okay so after that i came until this particular point after that what is this distance this is 25 so from here uh, this is, this should be your 25 and uh, what is this inside distance here you can see that it is 12 mm okay this inside distance so we can this uh, c shape c shape kind of thing okay this c shape kind of thing so you will be able to see in the top view okay what is this inside distance this inside distance is 12 mm okay and again this distance uh, and again this distance is 25 so this distance is 25 again and once again this outside distance so this is this is again 12 mm okay and uh, once again and once again this particular last distance is 25 mm okay so that 25 mm i'll draw it over here and uh, if i join this particular point with this one okay so this one is also visible in the top view so if i join this one with this one so now i have completed uh, drawing the top view for this particular figure okay now the only thing left is regarding the side view okay so if you are standing somewhere over here so if you are standing somewhere over here so the view which you are able to see is the side view okay because the arrow mark represents the front view so front view ki left side lo undi kabatti so this is nothing but your left side view okay uh yeah so when you are seeing from the left so what are the two things uh, uh, first visible to you is 50 mm by 12 mm so what are the lines that you that you are not able to see here you will be not able to see the lines which are related to length so you cannot see length but you will be able to see the breadth as well as height okay so first i am going to draw 50 mm by 12 mm block okay again taking some convenient distance what i am trying to do is 12 mm and uh, this distance should be 50 and uh, 12 and again 50 so what i have drawn now is nothing but so this particular rectangular block having 12 mm by 50 mm okay and after that so if you take this distance or uh, this distance what will happen for this distance in the side view that becomes zero and after that we have this uh, inclined rectangular block this inclined rectangular block in the side view also it will appear 
okay so in the side view what will happen to this one is it will get reduced until what height it is there it is having a total height of 25 mm so from a distance of already we are at uh, 12 mm height from here for another distance of 25 mm this rectangular block so how it is there is it is nothing but uh, uh, like a plane inclined okay so what will happen to that plane inclined is it will get reduced so this inclined line what i will do is so i will draw just like this that is the only distance that i will be able to see though the li line length is more since it is inclined what will happen is it distance will get reduced and this length is how much this length is nothing but 25 mm so from here i am going to draw 25 okay and uh, this distance is again we don't know this distance but uh, uh, until what distance uh, this point is there is until a height of 12 mm so from here i can just draw line like this okay so this is nothing but your 25 by 12 mm block okay and uh, is there anything that we can see in the side view no okay uh, one more thing what we should not forget here is regarding the uh, hidden edges okay regarding the hidden edges here you can see that uh, here is one edge as here is one edge as well as here also one more edge will be there okay so here also which we are not able to see in the isometric view so here also one edge will be there and here also one edge is there when you are seeing from the side okay so since uh, there is some cut portion here okay since there is some cut portion inside uh, 12 mm okay uh, and that particular edge uh, since we are not able to see in the side view what we should do is from this corner we have to make it as a dotted line so until a distance of 12 mm so what we should do is we have to draw it as a dotted line okay so this is the complete solution for this particular isometric view so you have, the question will be given like this and you have to draw the front view top view and side view okay so this side view is nothing but left side view which should be there on the right hand side of the front view okay and another thing is uh, regarding the dimensioning okay so what are all the dimensions that you are able to see in the isometric view so you have to equally distribute these dimensions to all these three figures okay suppose if i take uh, uh, top view what are the dimensions that i can give here so i will give uh, 75 mm so just uh, put the dimension line arrow heads okay and uh, you can write clearly as 75 okay and what is the breadth so breadth is nothing but your uh, 50 mm okay breadth is 50 mm okay and uh, similarly when you go to the front view so this particular distance is nothing but your uh, 25 mm and adjacent to that one again it is 25 and this particular distance is 12 mm okay like that again in side view this particular distance should be equal to 50 and this distance should be equal to 25 and this distance is nothing but your 12 mm so like this what you have to do is you have to distribute the dimensions so equally to all these three figures so if you see some of the uh, solution figures like this so how to give the dimensions we can properly understand that one so i am not going to give the dimensions uh, for all the figures only for this particular particular figure i am uh, trying to show the dimensions uh, i hope you understand the difficulty of writing the dimensions and even drawing the figures okay since i am using uh, paint here okay um, so this is the complete solution for this particular problem okay we will see the uh, problems uh, uh, further okay so i'll try to give solution uh, at least uh, for five to six problems okay the remaining six problems you have to solve by your own okay so i hope uh, this video will definitely be useful for you and uh, i hope you will definitely understand this particular concept